She love to pull up on the flashing lights She work and she twerk and she bout that life She cop the new dress and Hey Glam fam, how y'all doing? We're back with another video, this sultry purple look. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna be going in with our Juvia's Place in the shade Kano. And I'm gonna be trying out the Telemade Jane 3 in 1. Let me know if you like it. All right, now we're going in with the Juvia's Place Concealer. The top shade that I'm doing under my eye is J, I think it's J10. And then underneath, we are going in with J14. So I have J10 and J14. All right. And we're putting it under the eye and we're putting it right on the top of the cheekbones. I'm also going to put it underneath the contour as well. So next we're going in with the Makeup Revolution in the shade F18, it's a foundation stick. And now I'm going in with my Real Techniques foundation brush, the Instapot brush, and we're going to blend out that foundation on the jawline first. Alright, I'm going in with that Instapop uh, blender brush into my cheekbones and we're just blending out that contour. And then I'm gonna take my Instapop cheek brush and go above that contour and blend it all in so it can be as one. Now we're gonna use my Colored Rain sponge. It's damp, by the way. And I'm gonna blend out that under eye concealer. And look how smooth it's coming out with this sponge. I love this sponge, by the way. I really do. It's flat on one side and it's really big and fluffy. So it gives you that flawless under eye full coverage look that you're going for. So now we're going to take that Colored Rain Beauty Blender and we're going to blend out our forehead and down the bridge of our nose as well as our chin. Now I did my brows off camera so I'm just cleaning them up and I used the Plain uh, in Makeup by Yolanda in the Brow Pomade um, Ebony. So I'm just cleaning those up. I'm going into the Colored Rain by um, Power Collab and I'm going to be using that burgundy shade. It's really pigmented. And thank you to Colored Rain for sending me this palette along with other things. I'm also using the Crayon Case Fluffy Brush and I am tapping that shadow into my crease in a C shape so that I can get the desired pigment that I'm going for. I'm now going into that lighter, um, like a red tone burgundy shade and I'm going on the edges of that darker burgundy to create a gradient at the top of my crease. It's time to cut that crease, y'all. Bam, there it goes, looking crispy. I'm just taking that burgundy shade and blending out the edges of the corner where those, uh, where I did cut my crease so that when I do my colors, they're blending. So now I'm going into that dark purple shimmer shade onto my lid uh, connecting that burgundy. And we're just gonna tap that onto the crease. And next we're going with a lighter purple and we're going to tap that next to it and, and I'm using those patent motions so that it can blend in. It's a really pretty shade and these shadows are creamy. Next we're going into, it looks like a white shade inside of the palette, but when I applied it to my lid, it turned like this pretty pink looking color. So we're applying that into the beginning. Um, all the way to the inner corner of the lid. Now I'm going to use my uh, glitter topper in Connect and I'm using an angle brush to apply that to my crease. It does have a wand on it, but I didn't have a, a lot of control. So I decided to use the angle brush to apply it so that I can isolate exactly where I wanted the glitter to go. I'm now going into
into my day one highlighter and blush duo. Oh, look at that pretty color. And we're using a fluffy brush to just pop that right on the cheek. Pop that, pop that. Oh, look, it gives me a nice little rosy color. Now it's time for the lips. I'm using the Time's Up Matte Lip in the Suspect Lip Paint. We're going to put that pretty purple shade on first. I did lay down a uh, brown liner before I applied my lipstick. To me, it comes out better that way when a brown liner is applied. Then we're going to pop the lighter shade in the middle to give me an ombre effect. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Z Glamologist, Z T H E E underscore Glamologist, Facebook, Timeless Glamology, uh, Snapchat, and Twitter, Z Glamologist. See y'all next time. Bye.